This is a Nat Kidder Moscow Mule. I'm not gonna lie, I was not really a fan of vodka at all until I tried Nat Kidder. It's crisp and complements just about any flavor very nicely. Nat Kidder in a Moscow Mule, incredible. Fresh lime juice, Nat Kidder vodka, obviously, and a good quality ginger beer to top it off. I like a nice lime garnish with it too. My guest today is Grant Gustin. Normally I ask the, the guests, I'm like, uh, you know, is there any flavors you don't like? For example, I don't like ginger beer. I don't love ginger beer either, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're joking or are you just joking? Okay. He can act, sing, and dance, which landed him a role on stage in West Side Story, which later led to his television debut as a fellow warbler on the show Glee. Nowadays, he is very well known as the fastest man alive, The Flash. Grant films in Vancouver nine months out of the year, so as soon as he made it back to Los Angeles, we played some softball and enjoyed some refreshing Nat Kidder mules. I'm Riker Lynch, and this is Glass Half Full. All righty. Yep. Ow. Ow. That's never happened before. <laughs> Grant right. Gustin. What's Hello, going on, man? Sir. I'm good. How Thanks you for being here. Yeah, of course. Am I correct in remembering that your actual first name is Thomas? That's true. Got you. So what, and Grant must be your middle name? All of my siblings go by their middle names. Real? Oh, all of them? Yeah. My brother's Charles Tyler Gustin and my sister's Emma Grace Gustin. It, all of us are ty middle names. What, Tyler Grace and Grace. Why is that? I don't know. Parents made that decision before I could make decisions. Really? But I, you know, I like Grant better than Thomas. So I'm Grant cool. is a cool name. Yeah. And we, uh, we first met on the set of Glee. Mm -hmm. Is it season three? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Season three. Yeah. And that was like your television debut, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Like big, first jumping time into like the had biggest, no idea what was the biggest yeah. show on television at the time. That's right. Jumped right in. And uh, man, that was so that was fun. fun. Yeah. We had so many good memories. Like we had so much ago. fun. And it was, it was really exciting for uh, me, especially because I could kind of dance yeah. on the show a little yeah. bit already. So you coming in. We had even more Got to dancing dance to more. do. Yeah, yeah. So it I was, was really fresh great. off West Side. I was like leaving my West Side Story tour. Like right. I, I left that tour twelve shows shy of finishing my year. Wow. To come to Glee, actually. So were you? Did you audition and book the show while you were on tour? Yeah, I was like sending in tapes. And do you remember the episode? Um, there was like a tap dancing group that was a different. I think the season before. I don't remember. I auditioned. I'm gonna be honest. I only watched the episodes right, right, that right. I was. I in. had never seen Glee <laughs> like before. I auditioned actually, yeah. but I auditioned for that episode. Okay. Went from the road initially, and then they ended up bringing me back in for Sebastian Lehner oh, down the road. Yeah. Right on. But I was still touring at the time. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. So you just came in fresh off the, and it, it yeah. kind of worked because it was a musical. They were doing West Side Story in that episode. Oh really? Remember they were doing yeah. That I just don't remember. remember it just clicked. That's yeah. cool though. Yeah, that's like really weird. weird. It was like the universe camaraderie. Sure. Yeah. yeah, clicking. That's awesome. And yeah. now you're a superhero. Uh huh. You're the freaking Flash. Like, that's one so of them. cool. Yeah, the TV one. The TV one. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's cool. You no. get to you get to work <laughs> every more. week. Yeah, every week. It's much more. There's more storylines. There's more time yeah. on set. No, it's been amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. I mean, I feel like growing up, you know, that's got to be. Yeah, I mean, whether I'm, you don't realize it's a. This is a Superman tattoo. Oh, really? I'm like, it, it, you can't read it at all. It's my mom's handwriting. It says Superman. I love him. Which was a line I actually had in West Side Story that I thought was cool that I got to say oh, that. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I've loved Superman, I mean, like my whole life. Yeah. So this is crazy, yeah. I mean, and just like growing up, you know, kind of wanting to be an actor, you know, obviously as a kid, everybody yeah. loves superheroes. So the fact that, that yeah. like the two worlds are, have sort of crossed now and you're going into what, fifth season you fifth said? Fifth season, yeah. That, I mean, that's just got to be it's nuts. so cool. Yeah. Like I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> That's just so fun. Yeah. And I love the show, man. I'm, uh, oh, thanks, I just, man. I'm like right in the middle of season two. I wanted to, uh, cool. I, cause I watched season one like when it came out. That's then, Zoom, right? That's our yeah. Name. Zoom just started. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So okay. um, wait, right? He showed up already. I didn't no, no, I didn't show oh. up. But I, they, they're talking about him. Okay. You didn't spoil anything. All right, all right, all right, we're talking about. But it. but <laughs> it, it's exciting because I, I got to watch the first season like right when it came out, and then I haven't had TV in a while. But then I found it on Netflix, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, absolutely. So I think it's just released season four, so you can binge it all on it's Netflix. All, it's all on Netflix. Oh, now. perfect! Because I thought oh, in like a couple days. Three. I think oh, it's May thirtieth or so, yeah, in a couple days. Gotcha. Well, by the time this airs, it yeah. will be full it's on, on there. You'll probably be in the middle of season five, not airing, but but yeah, shooting, yeah, yeah. and that yeah. shoots in Vancouver. Up and van. Right on. Well, you're gonna have to hit up uh, Ross. That's yeah. what he is filming. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. Yeah. So, what got you into this in the first place? What got you into the whole 
acting theater, it musical was, theater world. For me, it was like theater. Um, tap dance was my. Gateway. Oh, you tap? Yeah. yeah. Right on, yeah. bro. Do you tap? Yeah. Hell I didn't yeah. know you I tapped. Expected it. That's how I started. Oh gosh. At eight years old, yeah, I was playing sports and like, and I'd, sports carried on for a little bit for me, but like specifically, I had stopped soccer, uh-huh. and it was like I was playing soccer and baseball. My mom wanted me to do another thing, and she knew. Um, I had this weird love for Gene Kelly, and it wasn't. I, I like watched Singing in the Rain like a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and so she kind of made me take this all boys tap class. Right on. Um, and that was kind of how she got me. It was all boys. We uh-huh. toured just like an Elvis. We did Elvis songs exclusively, wore pleather. And, really? With yeah. the tap? That was tap, my, and Elvis. tap and Elvis. That's yeah, really Basically cool. like toe heels and shuffles and shit. But like <laughs> that was my intro. And right then on. like my teacher worked at this community theater. And then I went over and did that, mm-hmm. which led to performing arts in high school and then tried to get my BFA in college before I left to do West Side Story. Where'd you go to college? Elon University. Where's that? In North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Got you. And you're from Virginia. Is it West Virginia or Virginia? No, Virginia. Virginia. Like Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia Beach area. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite uh, music venues. We actually may have talked about this. Uh, uh, the Norva. Is that Norfolk? Yeah. One yeah, of my cool favorite music venues. Yeah. I don't think we've talked about this. Is so it, that music venue is fantastic. Wait, maybe it's so I, fun. you yeah, you played it with your band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I remember seeing at one point that you posted pictures of that, so I for sure knew that. I okay. That, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have text conversations or something maybe, about I don't this, know. but I don't know. It's been a minute. I haven't seen you in a, in a long time. A yeah. long time and Recently, we reconnected. We, so. Yes, we reconnected. <laughs> and actually, it was great because it was softball first, yes, so it was yeah. just fun yeah. and, and it's kick, awesome. kicking yeah. it. But uh, yeah, what uh, I'm, I'm curious. You got you to gotta fill us in on some behind-the-scenes flash stories. Yeah. You got any interesting, fresh ones? I mean... No, none that immediately come to mind that are worth telling, or I'd be, I wouldn't get in trouble for telling. <laughs> um, awesome. Do yeah. you? Get, how much stunts do you get to do? That's what um, I want to know. A fair amount. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, are you hooked up to like the wires? Yeah. And you're pulled. Uh, and like stuff? recently, a bit, at the end of season four, I was doing that a lot, like too much almost. Like I felt like every three or four days I was in a harness, and it was to wow. the point where I was like. Guys, like, like I'm exhausted. Well, it wasn't just that. We were, like, ruining suits, and then they were, like, kind of make quick patches. Because, like, I only have a a couple. Mm -hmm. And then when we have rigs, they have to, you know, split seams and stuff so the harness can come out. And then they'll repair it, but then that part of the suit ends up inevitably, like, getting ruined. Right, it's just screwed. Yeah, so my suit was just getting, like, disheveled, like, at far too fast a rate. Yeah. What? How many? you, You only have, like, three? I don't know, man. I like. There's always one on the mannequin. I think if I needed to put that one on, awesome. we could take that off the mannequin, and I could put that on. Is that the one in the show? Yeah, it's always like right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which doesn't make sense because there's like a thing there with the mannequin with the suit, and then I take and put the suit on, but the mannequin's gone. Oh, Which that's always funny. Been a You're always the fans are like. You're always you know, mannequin. You're always putting the mannequin like in the closet, yeah. like so well, it's not just actually, a naked like, mannequin. You're like doing for it's for his sanity. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> One of our last uh, episodes, I remember actually, the whole cab we were just kind of like dicking around at the end of the take, and the take ended with me running out to get my suit and then exiting, and we all together went and like I got the mannequin, and Carlos who played Cisco helped me, and we were all kind of like grabbing it together, and right. then Tom Cavanaugh ran over as well, and we were all like, oh thanks man, thanks, and we like carried the mannequin out together. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on the gag reel, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. the, gag always, reels, honestly, it always, oh, I just watched it, like the uncut version, uh-huh. where we had like the F-bomb, oh, yeah, all the gotta, stuff they'll yeah, cut. Yeah. Um, and it's like 12 minutes long right now. And honestly, I watch it at this time of year every year. And it's like, just makes you so happy. All the like times, you know, oh, yeah, just, just love. Just flooded with memories. Yeah, you're like, oh man, yeah. this job's so fun. Like right at when you're beat down and you don't want to go back. You're like, oh, I love this job. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Oh yeah, that's actually interesting. So, uh, the, you know, you, you do the, right the series year, yeah. finale and you're just like, oh, I cannot I can't, wait yeah. to get I mean, out of here. 23 episodes is a lot. You know, that so is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the year, you're tired. It's like school where you're like, it's been yeah, totally. You're, you're like, like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. And then I'm sure you're you're back for like a couple of weeks. And you're like, gosh, I can't wait to start up again. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I don't I don't handle downtime great. I mean, it's been nice. Um, right. We're you know planning the wedding and finishing a renovation. That's and, right. How long have you guys been engaged now? Since last hiatus, like I, it's terrible. I don't know the exact date we got engaged. It's eight, like I want to say it's terrible. <laughs> we both laughed about this because thankfully yeah. she did, she wasn't oh, able to call either. Because yeah. if she knows, yeah, and no, you exactly. don't. You're in trouble. But the thing is, it's like the dates are ever like we had our anniversary for when we started dating, and then it's like that changed when we got engaged. And I'm like, I'm not remembering this day because we're gonna get married. Right. And then that's our new, you know, like I'm like, how many days am I supposed to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to remember. Like April, I want to uh, over a year ago now. Like over like 13 right months. Can I ask you how how you how you asked? 
Um, if, if you don't want to answer, no, no, no. It was um, not inspiring in a way, mm -hmm. but it was because I didn't know what my hiatus was going to be. Right. I had a movie that was kind of I ended up losing because of financing, but I thought I was going to Costa Rica to do this film. Okay. We didn't know when we were going, and it was kind of a start, stop and start game, and. I wanted to do it in Costa Rica. Like I'd had the ring for a couple months and gotcha. knew I was going away to do this movie. Knew that she'd come join me at some point and thought like Costa Rica, let's do that. Yeah, fantastic. Um, but then the, I, we were hearing like the movie kept getting pushed. We weren't sure if it was going to happen. With that, long story short, I, it was pushed two months and I was unavailable because of Flash. So I right. lost that movie. So I'm at home though, hanging out, wondering if I'm going to go or not. And um, it's burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. Basically. Oh, yeah. And you're and you're trying to keep it a secret. Yeah. And, and at this point, I'm like, even if I go to Costa Rica, she wasn't going to be with me for the first couple weeks. Um, and we were, you know, bummed out about that and like right. going to miss each other. And and I was like, I kind of want to do it before I leave at this point. Yeah. But I didn't know when I was going to like. There was never really a like incredibly special moment to do it. And um, we live on the beach and always go and watch the sunsets on like a pretty regular basis, just because we're like right there. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. And one day we had gone down and done a workout on the beach, and um, it was in my bag, which I actually hadn't intended. It was in my bag for later, for the sunset, uh -huh. but we were on the beach in the afternoon doing our workout, and um, she, we were done, and she had reached in there for her water, and I didn't realize she had put her water in my bag. And so I don't know if she's seen it or not, and right. she hasn't, but I don't know if she has or hasn't. So and you're just like, like, oh no, oh so no. So my heart is beating. And, like, so, and we've talked about marriage at this point, and I try to find a way to get on the topic of marriage, because I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll bring it up. And then like, I'll yeah, like, yeah. so what, I find a way to like bring it up, and <laughs> talking about it. And, and then I pulled a ring out, and I was like, but like, you know, and actually asked the question, and she laughed, because <laughs> she thought, you know, the way I would brought yeah. it up, the setting that we were in, the way I'd ask, you're like kind of sweaty. It was not the time to ask. Like, <laughs> and the ring is huge. Like the diamond's very big. So, nice, just, so she nice. thought it was fake. Like so, okay. she just like <laughs> laughed. And I was, you know, told her I was serious. And then she started crying and said yes. Yeah, and yeah. It was kind of a she cool laughed, story. She laughs like no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm actually asking. <laughs> It's pretty much what happened. That's kind of great because you always there's so many just you know Incredibly typical romantic, like yeah. set up and overthought flash mobs and, yeah yeah you know the whole thing so it's like it's it's a very for lack of a better term it's a very cute story yeah and uh, I think it's awesome I think it's because it, everyone's like well I you know went out on the sunset on the roof yeah of no the, it wasn't like that this restaurant that she loves yeah. and I had a plane you know skydivers dropped it asked with their parachutes <laughs> said well you, like you know it's it gets really over the yeah, top, no, so totally. I, I like that. It's just no. kind of like I'm kind of like that in life. It's kind too. of spontaneous. I'm, like, and I'm bad and with fun. birthdays. Like I'm yeah. bad with like I'm real. Like I get people gifts throughout the year. You know, if I see something, I'm like, oh my god! Like Tyler, with my brother, would love. Yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's I'll just get it way. for him. Mm -hmm. And then like on February first, when it's his, when it's his birthday, I'm like, oh man, like. Had a call Tyler. It's his birthday. Like, yeah, I'm the worst. So, yeah, you have nothing to worry about. My family. I can't even remember the last time we got somebody a present. Yeah, like I'm it's all bad, yeah. very random. It's never for Christmas or a birthday. That, that's good. That makes me feel better. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I, I, occasionally, there is like, uh, yeah, like a random, literally, like kind of like when you say you see something, right, 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 and you get right. it for somebody. Like yeah. that's like the most. Except, except for my mom. My mom's pretty consistent with seeing stuff. Often and getting it yeah, from one of those us. Those are moms, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a mother thing to do. Like yeah. siblings, I'm like, we we go out for my birthday and I'm somebody brings something. I'm like, what? What's going on? Like, I know. What? I always feel like a dick. I have a really good friend, uh, Kyle, who he was on tour with me. He played Tony in West Side. Um, mm -hmm. He's another actor, and I all we're best friends. And I like it's a running joke now. We've been best friends for like nine years, and I can't for the life of me remember his birthday. <laughs> like, I think it's November. 17th always and the only reason I know right now is because it's it's May 20th and it just passed and right I just forgot again and so, <laughs> but he always sends me a gift like a real gift really yeah oh man he's a that, that must be yeah, like something that runs in his family like they must get each he's other just gifts a better person than me I think yeah <laughs> yeah maybe better friend at least yeah he's just really just making an effort with those gifts yeah does he like see you and give them to you or is he like, no him? I mean he lives in New York I live in oh, LA okay. so oh, is like, he doing like uh, Broadway stuff yeah he, he does a little bit of both he was on the show Stitchers on Freeform okay for a while, but it, we've always marvel actually at our friendship that we met on the road, and then he, he is a, he's engaged, and he, him and his fiance are based out of New York, and I'm have been based out of LA since we've known each other, and or that's not true since since Westside ended, I've been based out of uh -huh. LA, and we've never you know by by coastal friendship, but like we see each other like I don't know more than I see a lot of other friends right in my life. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of be like 
pretty tough to kind of keep in contact yeah, with people, especially you, if like face to face. It just kind of happens. Schedules. You realize you're not like trying to make it work. It just kind of yeah. like naturally happens when you like want to hang out. You know, right, right, right. It's crazy though. Well, back to uh, the Flash a little bit. Mm -hmm. How uh, soon do you get ne the next episode script? Man, we so th we've fought with them about that at times actually <laughs> because they always like to do table reads. Um, mm -hmm. And we usually get, the, and we usually do, sometimes the table reads are the day we start the episode or the day before. Sometimes they're even the day after we have started the episode. And oh, it's just funny. like the only time <laughs> slot it fit. Right. Because like we're crazy busy, you know. As a company, we're crazy right. busy. And um, to get everyone in the room, because we Skype LA and we're in Vancouver and we like all sit down together and do mm -hmm. it. Um, we usually get them like the day before we have the table reads. Wow. And we started to so you be get like, a, you get a read through and then you're like, I have to kind of read this out loud. Yeah, and, and then it kind of, for us at least, it's like, I, I, I don't know how, like this is, I'm not benefiting from this and I don't know how you're benefiting because I can't prepare, you know, right. the script sometimes. Um, but it's usually like the day before we do it or the day of a table read, which is usually, like I said, the day we've started the episode or the day before we start right. the episode. So usually like the two days of prep do you ever like you know you've started the episode and then you have the table read the next day do you ever yeah. like read something that you We've shot and like shot. I totally could have 100%. done way better than 100%. that that's this, the hard part about TV is like almost every scene that I shoot when it's over like I go home I think of things I should have done because it all happens so fast it's so fast it's yeah so you're fast. just knocking it out yeah. and there's I remember on Glee there was like almost no rehearsal not the dance numbers and stuff but for, for, the, the for acting. your acting scenes at all no yeah, I mean, yeah, especially like, for something like Flash where there's so many things going on yeah we'll shoot four or five scenes in a day with some of them are action where they're like you know a lot like we should have two days to shoot that one scene you know uh -huh. on a feature you would but it's just like, oh yeah it's impossible i mean you literally don't get rehearsal time it's crazy it's like guerrilla style like shooting almost but yeah on a big budget tw and 23 episodes i mean you got yeah. you guys got how long you uh, how long does one season normally take Nine and a half months. Woo, yeah. See, yeah. that's a lot. Of, you got to cram all... You got to cram 23 episodes in nine and a half yeah. months. Yeah, like, plus the four you flying. Um, crossovers, you know. Oh, you do four crossovers every season? Y yeah, I think wow. so. Wow. Three or four. Yeah, so I think I've pretty. I've done 20... Pretty much every year, 27 episodes. It's Dang. Because it's... So the crossover ones with Arrow, right? Yeah, Arrow, And then uh, Supergirl, Supergirl. And Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that one. Yeah. And Very next, cool. they just announced it up front. So we're doing a big crossover with Batwoman next year. Batwoman? Like they're adding another wow. superhero. <laughs> another superhero. Very girl. ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All yeah, right. it is pretty cool. Dang, man. Yeah. Well, what else is new? What else do you, do you have as far as like, you know, you got the Flash, obviously. Is there anything yeah. else you're working on? I mean, it pretty much like... Planning a wedding? Planning the <laughs> wedding, yeah, life, you know? It's like the relationship and Flash pretty much eats up right everything. On. And then I'm like, I have a two and a half month window to try to line up a project. And I've had two years in a row of deja vu of just like, uh, of what I mentioned before. It happened to me again this year. I had a film. Really? Three days before I left. Um, Funding gets pulled. They, they lost one of their financers, yeah. And we, they, they were like, it's fine though, we're pushing just two months. And it's like, but guy, like I'm... Yeah, doing that other you know, thing. Yeah, you know, I was like, I got There's a go. little show called The Flash. We're doing season five yeah, now. So it's it's really hard to fit something in. Yeah. And as much you know, I love the the hard part of Flash is like you do it so long, you just need to do something else. You know, and mm -hmm. it's really hard to fit something else in there. Yeah, that's got to be kind of a catch twenty two because obviously yeah. you love it and, yeah. and you're you're so successful with it and it's Double a great sword, show. Yeah. But yeah, you're like I want to you know venture out a yeah, little just bit, play at somebody least. else or yeah. do something. I mean, like now, I think what. I, I want to probably make my goal is to get back on stage because it's been like eight yeah. years. And I feel like that's an easier thing to like set my sights on for a year from now and be that's like, true. let's yeah. make you that can happen. Do two like, months, boom, boom, you know, on yeah. Broadway or, or wherever. Somewhere in New York or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I would love that. I mean, it's just, you know. That'd be awesome. TV started happening and it's like, mm -hmm. can't just get away. Flying, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Well, I know how you feel with the, uh, the funding getting pulled. That's definitely been my story for this, this year at least, big time. So it's uh it's a bummer, yeah, but um, crazy, you know you, it's you just gotta keep powering through it. Yep. Especially it's gotta be nice to know you're like all right I still got you know I still got the the next season of the Flash so yeah. enjoy the time off. Yeah, I mean it changed that Flash in that sense changed everything. For yeah. Me, you know we're like yeah, I I grew you know grew up in Virginia and not like with not from the industry at all and right. not like incredibly well off or anything so like this obviously I'm very aware of how it changed my life as an actor and just as a human being and I can just kind of enjoy my time and not, you know, stress out about things that I used to. 
What else was it like growing in growing up in Virginia? Like besides your you had the tap stuff. What yeah. Else, and what, what's, you said you played sports. What sports? Did you I play? played yeah some soccer and baseball. Baseball I played for a long time. Soccer I I got I think I was six or seven maybe and um, got hit in the I forget if it was the face. Or just got the wind knocked out of me. But yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, right in the stomach. Had never liked soccer anyway. Like yeah. I thought the running mm-hmm. back and forth was just ridiculous. <laughs> like as a kid, especially, I'm just like, no one's passing it to me. I'm just doing yeah, it. Yeah, like, gosh, I'm and exhausted. I think I got drilled one day in the face or something, and, and I, I took my jersey off. And like I'm left done. Home, like, we got in the minivan, and my mom came and was like, "What's happening?" I was like, "I'm done." You're like, "This sucks." I'm not playing anything. I'm yeah. gonna get hurt doing. So that was it. That's funny. <laughs> but baseball. baseball. You're, you're, you 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 have pretty natural baseball skills. I mean, yeah, I used to for be not pretty be, good, for, especially for not playing for I can't imagine how long. But yeah, playing out with us, I'm saying you got you you know you know what you're doing. Yeah, it was it was I did it a lot as a kid. It was from like you know t ball through I don't know like right before you were in the like whatever the big leagues were for the kids. Like that's around the time I mm-hmm. stopped. It was like kind of the teenage years. I think I was like 14 when I stopped. You know what I just remembered? Um, I saw a movie you did right after we were kind of on Glee. Uh, a Lifetime a mo- movie? Yeah. Yes, A Mother's Nightmare. Dude, <laughs> that was scary. Drama. Gosh, that girl was terrifying. Oh, yeah, Jessica Lowndes. She was great actress. I was well watching. Scary. I was watching, just being like, "Oh my gosh, this yeah. is this is a nightmare." We went there, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I actually, dark we, and uh, deep. L.A. My fiance has never seen that. We I, we sat down in Vancouver. We were like, you know. On TV and it was it was on TV. No, we were like, awesome. oh my god! Like so, we put it on for a second, and I don't think we watched more than ten minutes. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like this is really it's, sc- yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's, uh, it's deep, special, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and like yeah, but you were fantastic Thanks, in it. It was, it was fun. I said that was like acting camp school. It was yeah. like, I had to do like everything. In that yeah, movie. you had a very wide. <laughs> Range of stuff going on, <laughs> yeah. like I mean, that girl was. That was terrifying. like my first like movie, you know. So yeah, that was, that was really cool. Well, how did that come about? Um, that was just an like an, you know an audition. I think, like you said, I was doing Glee. I think at the time, still, it was mm-hmm. in between because I did, you know, like I only did seven episodes of Glee, but they were over the course of like three, four, and five seasons. Three, yeah. four, and five. So yeah, that, we, we were kind of in and, and out. And out and yeah, out. yeah. So that Lifetime movie was somewhere in there. I don't know um, right when and. Yeah, like you had said earlier, I was really exper- unex- inexperienced. I'd never been on camera, um, and that was You're a cool, natural though. <laughs> that was a cool thing for me. It was like yeah. I got to do a lot, and it was you know I felt like a safe place to work. And um, Jessica was great, and uh, Annabeth Gish, who was like a real, she was in uh, Mystic Pizza with Julia Roberts. Oh yeah, 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 she's yeah. just you know a, a kind of journeyman actor actress, and she was really cool to work with, and oh that was a cool experience. But yeah, it was just like a standard like audition. Yeah. How many times you have to go in? I think once. Nice. Yeah, think it was just oh like, yeah, that's good. It was like a, like more of a TV, you know, because it's t- made for TV movie. TV and it was yeah, like yeah. A little, maybe twice. I, it was a long time ago, but I want to say once. What was it? How, especially like being you know in your first sort of major thing, going from Glee. What was like the biggest difference going from television to the film? Um, a lot more time on set. Like it was like about what I was doing, you know, with Glee. Like you're a small part right. in this machine that's been going for years too um so yeah it was just like more f- attention on you like and that's draining in ways too you know the hair and makeup thing on oh set yeah where you're like, oh wow yeah, like, oh, I'm not used to this you know yeah and, cut and there's like 17 people around yeah. you so all of a sudden like people care more about what, like what's going on with you mm-hmm. and stuff like that like the director's talking to you all the time and just more work i mean the workload but i love that like i'm all about the work you oh know? yeah so, definitely i know yeah. exactly yeah I'm, i always say that i'm like i don't really care what project it is as long as i'm interested enough oh my god i just want to work exactly like whatever i'll play whatever character do whatever role yeah you know i admire uh uh, dwayne johnson a lot because i feel like he has a little bit of that same mentality he's like i just i just want to work i don't yeah he doesn't want to sit down he does not want to stop like and (laughs) you see a new trailer every other month for his new movies i'm just like yes dude crazy that dude works man he's a hustler who growing up who did you look up to um, like I touched on Gene Kelly a little bit. That mm-hmm. was kind of the first, like, I guess looking back, the first actor performer. Um, but then as a, I, I mean, I wasn't really focused on like I was a theater kid, you know, and like my there were a lot of theater people I looked up to. Like I, I just saw Gavin Creel in Hello Dolly. I don't know if you know who that mm-hmm. is, but he's a theater guy I always looked up to when I was a kid. Um, but then I don't know. Growing up, it was like. Uh, 
when you ask like what it's like what's your favorite color who's your like what's your favorite actor who's some of your favorite actors you know it's like i remember looking up to joseph gordon levitt a lot when i was yes like, fantastic yeah, yeah when i knew that acting on camera was what i was gonna do like mm-hmm. and i was looking into like who am i interested in like i i love what he's done the yeah. arc of his career he's, he's so many great roles and what i've noticed with him more than probably anybody is his voice changes a time it's maybe it's small sometimes but yeah he really changes he just his takes voice on different a little bit yeah. yeah he just disappears for each bit. role and, yeah and like you know, it just popped in my head when i said that because he does the same thing as gary oldman was always oh actor. yeah yeah just uh, no just he's a different fantastic. person fantastic like he takes it a step further where yeah. he's just a different person all the time yeah there's so many so many like really really huge and just insanely talented actors like that but yeah Joseph Gordon Levitt. Have you seen his um, hit record stuff? That website? I haven't, no. But I mean, it's early on, I remember when it was starting up and mm-hmm. I would watch kind of how he was putting projects together with all the different people that would, you know, but I haven't. Yeah, I haven't dove too much into it, but yeah, I was kind of either. just glancing around um, the other day because I uh, been slightly getting interested in writing, which cool. I normally As don't. As in what sense? Uh, like, I'm trying to, I'm writing a short film right now. Cool. Believe it or not. But, um, yeah, and I was just like, oh, he's constantly having Doing people something. cross over and, you know, yeah, work, work together, on this. And yeah. so I was just kind of like seeing what was on there. But uh, it's a cool website. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a very clever um, system. And like the in the beginning on the website it says, or maybe this was in a podcast I, I heard, but he talks about how uh, it's not necessarily for people who do this for a living. It's just for people, people that enjoy want it. to yeah, enjoy you know? content. Yeah, yeah like, and they yeah. like you know you 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 work at uh, you know you're working at an office or whatever. You work for a cell phone yeah. company or whatever it is, but you just enjoy writing so that you have an outlet yeah. to to do that. And I just think that's really cool. And it is really cool. The yeah. dude's insane. It's all talented. about passion, you know, and just the love yeah. of it, and not about anything. else. Exactly, it's all yeah. about being creative and and putting out something. And yeah. Yeah, it's a, so it's a I, I want to write too, but I don't know how to like get started with that. I like um, honestly, I uh, Aaron Sorkin's masterclass was uh, the you, what, you what took I did. That? Yeah, uh, yeah, cool. And it's um, it's just it's amazing, really. Like what you just learn in just these little videos, yeah. and I, I'm still sort of figuring it out. But uh, especially because you read so much you read so many scripts yeah. you'll know the format and if you just kind of remember yeah. the format and just sort of just go the other thing uh, the master class said was they were like just write something like a, find a short story you like or another story a book or whatever and that's already you know the beginning middle and end is already there and then turn that into a screenplay that's kind of how I've wanted to start actually because yeah. I read a lot too like novels and oh you books. do yeah, a lot yeah and it's I didn't used to do that when Flash started it was kind of like started on set it's just pastime uh-huh. thing and that's what's made me want to like write. Actually, it's just really? all the reading I've been doing. Yeah. And you, do you want to write like a novel? I want to adapt. A, you want to adapt for a screenplay. For a screenplay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, I figured it'd be the easiest way to start. It'd be, it'd be oh, a yeah. lot of work too to like you know delve through and mm-hmm. timeline it and figure out how to do it. But if that's kind of was how I was going to start. That's definitely they say for beginning writers. That's what you should do because there's already like the, the conflict, yeah. the structure, the you know yeah. the characters. It's just a it's a simpler yeah. brain process. Yeah. But what what have you read lately that you love? Uh, I just I'm reading all the time. I just started a um, or no I just what was the book I just finished? Was his last name is Eskins? Um, he writes a lot of like uh, detective lawyer kind of mystery novels. Uh-huh. Um, but I I read all kinds of things. You know, um, I last year I finally finished all the Harry Potters. I'd never nice. done them as a kid. Great. Yeah. yeah. So I did that when Flash started. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm always reading different stuff. Right on. Did you, did you dive into the Hunger Games at all? Yeah, but that was re- before I was reading a lot. I did those back, oh, okay. back during West Side Story, actually. Ah, yeah. right on. Yeah. yeah, those were those were good. Um, I've heard Ready Player One is fantastic. That's, I've read it twice. 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 Oh wow. Have, and, and, have um, you seen the movie? We've seen it. Yeah. What? What? I like it? Yeah. It was, it, I like it a lot actually. Yeah. It was just different. And it was just like, a, a, like the book is incredible and the movie is incredible and they're like companion pieces almost but that's what I've heard like, yeah, yeah they're not like the same it's thing it's not like the book yeah I mean it is and it isn't you know right. it's, it's, it's yeah. a movie adaptation but it, so it's, yeah 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 I, I've sort of had to um, every time I read Spielberg. a book and then see the movie yeah <laughs> you, uh, you have to be like well it's not really the movie's not really based you know the movie's not going to be the book it's just based on the book right you know and so if you can kind of get your, your head totally. around that you're not really like disappointed when something that you loved in the book doesn't happen exactly. in the movie no so. I liked it a lot a lot a lot yeah um, he wrote a, this book Armada too that you should 
you should read. Yeah. Really good, yeah. What kind of, what's like the genre? It's it's the same genre, I'd say. It's okay. Ernest Klein, the guy that wrote Ready Player One. But oh, it's, gotcha. um, it's... Armada? Yeah, it's called it's called Armada. I don't want to spoil it. It's, yeah, yeah, don't, you don't have to say, don't give yeah, any spoilers. Yeah, but it's very but much it's good. the same genre. In the same sort of world. Same genre. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I like that you're not giving me anything. Yeah, no, that, now I'm really curious. Yeah, it's you know a good I'm book. It's good read. But you should read both of them. If you haven't read Ready Player that, One. Yeah, uh, Ellington actually keeps telling me yeah, no, to, uh, to read Ready Player One. But you've one. seen it now? I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it changes things a little. Yeah. Maybe just read Armada first. Okay. Yeah, there Maybe you go. you'll know if you like them or not. And you'll that's, like them. That's a good not. idea. Yeah. And if you're into like the whole uh, mystery sort of crime thing... Um, there's a, a series of books. I don't. I can't remember. I think the first one might be called Hard Rain, but it's about a, a like a Japanese assassin sort of thing. His name is John Rain. Really cool books, cool, yeah. and it's it's very. Uh, it's just cool to hear, or not hear, but read like the details of like what's going through his brain, like when in like a hand to hand combat yeah, yeah, situation. Yeah, cool. It's That's re- like my favorite part of those, uh, yeah. those Sherlock Holmes movies. Exactly. Like, do that, and then they like go yes, back and show yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, with Robert Downey Jr. So sick. Have you seen the show with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch? Like an ep- like a long time ago. I saw oh, you like the I haven't binged all the way through. Oh, no. definitely. That's a, yeah. That's but a good I saw binge. how they did that. Yeah, we actually like in the pilot of Flash. I think we almost started to go down that road with uh, Barry's like CSI work. We would like have him. We you'd see how he oh, saw yeah. things a little bit. And I thought that was gonna be something we were gonna do. That but definitely could have been cool. The studio, I think, thought that, or someone, I don't know who it was, thought that it was too similar too to similar Sherlock. Um, Sherlock. But I was like, let's pull. That's cool though. Let's yeah. Like, use that cool thing from Sherlock. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's yeah, all right. Yeah. Like, and there's like that's Sherlock's done in England. Right. It's like totally two different. Now things. we hardly even see Barry do CSI work. So yeah. <laughs> well, that's because you're a full full time superhero. Full time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. How long? Actually, speaking of uh, Back to the Flash again, how long does it take you to get into that suit? Um, well, I'm getting, is this a spoiler? When does this air? This will air, uh, is it, <laughs> well, uh, let's, well, let's chat about this for a second, because we can go, I was wanting to go earlier on, Okay. but we're probably not airing anything until, like, middle of June, Okay. and you'd be, like, the fourth or fifth episode. Gotcha. And it's going to be one week, every, every, every week, so, is this season four spoiler? We're, No. It's a season five spoiler. Don't say it. <laughs> Definitely don't say it. Don't, yeah, you'll be, um, I will get in huge trouble. Yeah, no, it's, uh, so I'll, I will just say then, of the suit that I wore for four years, um, it was uh, yeah, easy enough to get into. Gotcha. It was a jacket and pants, and they were leather, and I had like suspenders. Oh, okay, so it's not like the Deadpool suit where he's saying he, it takes him like an hour to get it on or off or something. There was something funny about that Deadpool yeah. suit. Um, I What I really want to know, especially because I've been watching a lot of the flash lately yeah um when you do when you're in a scene and you run off you you know you run and grab like for instance when you go and grab the suit and you yeah. run off do you go and do that and they speed it up or do you just step off camera it, it depends like okay. on what how we shoot it what the moment is um but if anything what i'll do like if i'm going to my suit and then exiting usually what i would do is like move towards my suit and then exit frame and then cut frame and they'll put in like yeah they'll cut put in the yeah. the, the lightning bolt. sometimes we'll shoot things Five. in 120 frames per second and then that's me in slow motion right so, Those, so then i'll do it yeah, like, yeah 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 that's really cool i like when um, yeah. i like when you have those scenes and you're like moving through something and yeah, you're I wish we did that more yeah it's cool yeah those are really cool there are times too though that they'll They'll shoot, I think, at a standard film rate, and I will do all the activities. Like, if I'm, if there's, like, a room, they'll set a master, and I've got, like, a bunch of business to do throughout uh-huh. the room, I'll do it all, and then they'll kind of just, like... Just, sh- right. Sh- yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What is the uh, most intense or hardest stunt you've had to do? Uh, uh, Sorry, I'm really into, like, action no, that's cool. movies yeah, and yeah. stuff, so this is really um, cool. I don't me. get to do a lot of the, like... I'm sure I'm forgetting, like... Stuff, stuff I've done right now like I have the worst memory when it comes to this, especially because <laughs> I have like memory dump but when it comes to like the dialogue and like yeah like I learn so much dialogue on a regular basis and we shoot so much that like you ask me about who, who directed two episodes ago and who was the bad guy in that episode like you're like I have no and clue. I used to be season one I was phenomenal I could tell huh. you the name of every episode and who directed it and really? I think just this late in the game now I'm just like <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's yeah as long as I know did. my lines today, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Like, um, that's funny. Yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the most extreme. <laughs> 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 um, 
It's amazing. So we're, see, yeah. we're definitely leaving that yeah. whole bit in. <laughs> That's great. Um, Most extreme or intense stunt you've had to do? Honestly, I, I don't, I don't know. I like I can like a lot of the harness work. Sometimes it's not extreme or like dangerous. It's just like I've precarious. heard that's just kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just like precarious like positions, and then you're like all the and I've got bony hips. Like and all of a sudden you're just like oh <laughs> yeah no 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 no. Yeah. And they're like you have a gel pad, and I'm like it still hurts. <laughs> um, no, I usually try to keep my mouth shut because the stunt guys are so tough, and they, they could like oh, break yeah. their neck and be like I'm good. Yeah. So like I try to like, like we need to do four more takes. I'm yeah. good. No, I've yeah. genuinely seen someone get dropped on his skull crack his skull open his actual skull and like blood was coming down he had a cowl on and like blood was coming down through the cowl eyes and he was like ready to do another one and they were like you're not doing another you're like one. you're done <laughs> for like <laughs> a done, while bro we're going to the hospital yeah. right now yeah, there have been a couple of times where i've watched stuntmen just get thrashed and they get up ready for one more actually when i met my stunt double cody loudon he's um been my stunt double not just since all, for all of Flash, and also when I was introduced on Arrow, he was in. He was already my stunt mm. double. Where we did the origin scene, I think it was my second episode of. Arrow. See, this is back when I can remember everything. I want to say that that was episode <laughs> three hundred nine. Oh, Arrow. nice. Okay. Um, so they. It was the episode that Barry got struck by lightning right. through the, and he when he got thrown. He got thrown into like, so the glass above him, the pull was a little late. He was on like a harness and a pull. Right. When he got like blasted back and the pull was a little late and the glass from above was real. Bro. And like showered down on him and cut like his face and like his neck and stuff as he got pulled. And then he was yanked into a like shelving unit where like glass beakers made of sugar glass like right. exploded all over him. But homie hopped up with like five, seven, like different like, Woo. just like blood trickling down and I think he did one more. Like he was really. Yeah. He's, Isn't that insane? How like those stunts have to work? Like the yeah. guy pulling just a yeah the timing, fraction of yeah. a hair late, and it's just like God. What know, we we actually had one at the end of the year. And let me preface like our stunt department is like probably the best department on our show. Oh, I can't even. And imagine. we have a lot of strong have a departments. Lot. Yeah, but they're phenomenal. Like they help out actors and directors and special effects on such a regular basis. But I think we did have a poll that was like hilarious like poorly timed where it was like a glass shatter at one point and they were supposed to be pulled through glass that then shattered as they hit it but it was rigged so it exploded uh -huh. and it exploded like two seconds before the body like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> was like so we're gonna do that one again yeah. and that setup's gonna take a minute oh yeah i can't even imagine <laughs> yeah. are you sitting on set and you're like oh that's wait, one of those moments gotta... where you're just like in the full red body condom that you're just like no <laughs> <laughs> and you just yeah. go back to your like, trailer that's like, gonna be another hour <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm gonna go read our what was it called arden arden Armada. Armada. Yeah, you're I'm not gonna, gonna read finish. that book. You're gonna yeah. forget what it's called. I'm glad oh, we have footage for you. Yeah. Oh back. yeah. I have to. There's like always a good amount of recommendations that I have to like go back mm -hmm. to. Like, well, what is he talking right. about? Yeah. Ernest Klein. Armada. Gosh, yeah, Armada. I'll probably remember that. I have a. Uh, I actually, at least, I tell myself I have a really good memory. Oh, so cool. We're gonna. Well, find this guy out. wrote Ready Player One, so if you can at least remember that. Like, yeah. Then I can just find his other it. book. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. Is he? Only, is there only I think two books? Only two, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Well, um, Grant, Thomas Grant, Gustin. That's right. That's the whole thing. <laughs> that's great. I think that's really cool that actually that you guys all do your middle yeah, names. Yeah, super right. Especially as a unit. Yeah. It's not like you and then your other, you know, two siblings. So technically, my sister is not as uh, much of like a, me and my brother, you know, have big mouths on us. Like, and we like, we'll speak for ourselves if we right. feel that we need to. My sister's not really that way. She's really sweet and uh -huh. even keel and love, you know, nothing like me. Um, and her like in, like in school it was like you know they would say Thomas Gustin and I'm like it's Grant <laughs> right and then like cool check here her Emma Gustin here so right, she's she just is. Emma to all her friends in school <laughs> but like right. if you meet her in life she's Gracie but if you've met her in school she's Emma because she didn't have the background right. the same she's like oh, I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> yeah, yeah so. that's funny and yeah. where where are you in the siblings I'm the middle middle yeah gotcha some people say that's the the best spot to be. I, like I wouldn't it. know, but yeah, I like it. You're the oldest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the oldest. I like it. Yeah, a lot. I like it. I, th I feel like everyone likes where they're at. I haven't never met anyone that was like, uh, I wish I yeah. was. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my bro like I have an older brother, and like I don't know if he I, I, like. We've always almost had the dynamic of like I was kind of the older brother. Really, I think that's why I like it a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Because I'm like the why middle, but like I 
kind of like also the older. Were you brother. kind of boss him around or something? Not boss him around. I just I don't know. Like I'm just like <laughs> people always I think assumed I was the older brother. Like when they oh, would guess. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I had that. Rocky. So it kind of created yeah. that dynamic between us almost. Where like I, I didn't have a complex about it, but I feel like he kind of more did have a complex. Right, right, right. Yeah. Growing up at least, where he was like, "What the fuck do people always think you're the older brother?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I when we hit uh, when I hit twenty and Rocky was seventeen, and then like probably the next year I was probably twenty one. Everyone. Instantly thought he was older. Yeah. He's a little taller. He just looks older. He, yeah. he always has facial hair. Looking at always, your brothers but... now, I guess if we lined you up, I, I wouldn't know how to. Yeah, we're, we all look probably pretty close yeah, now. That we're all twenties. Yeah, it would be but, hard to. Yeah. Well, uh, what do we got this weekend? Volleyball. Yep. Volleyball. Is baseball happening? Maybe I'm Saturday. Saturday. I'm down if it's going on. All Saturday. right, dude. Bring the bat. Yeah, that bat was great. That is awesome. Maybe we'll we'll have to maybe we'll get a couple shots of you swinging that thing for the yeah. for the show yeah, after we've mentioned it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> maybe we might have to bring it. we have to bring the crew. <laughs> well, dude, thank you so much for for being on the show. Of course, man. Uh, I'd love talking with you. It's great to catch up. I know we don't get to hang out too much anymore. I mean, you're. I think a we're superhero. changing that though. We've we've been changing that at least. That's that's, that's true. We have seen each other three <laughs> well, times. Pace. So it, and it's it's great though. We're, yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. We'll have we got a celebrity volleyball tournament for yep. charity. Yep. And um, probably not gonna be very good, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, uh, you you always say that uh, your fiance is better than you she in is, sports. Yeah. She's pretty good at softball stuff. So she's. Better than better she's than gonna me. be better than me at volleyball. At volleyball, yeah, so so what you're saying is I should be on your guys' team. Yeah, she's gonna be good. Yeah, cool for sure. Awesome. And right. I'm long, so I can't be bad. Like I'll be exactly. Like, I'll yeah. play D. Like I'll you know I won't. We'll just them. set her all day long, and yeah. we'll be good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, sounds good. Well, dude, thank you again. Cheers. It's been awesome. Cheers, and uh, best of luck to you in the future. Mm.